Okay, you guys, right now, well, it's Friday. I just got off. Um, what am I about to do? Yeah, it's Friday. I just got off. I believe we have a room inspection tomorrow. Not a room inspection, barracks inspection. So my room is pretty clean right now, but I'm pretty sure it's got a jack up because I'm about to film. I'm about to go to my homegirl Morgan room. She about to bring my hair for me. Um, then I'm about to film. My lashes came, you guys. I love getting packages. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you guys this. So I want to shout out, wait, let me not show her address. I want to shout out Tonya Jones. It's my subscriber. I have put on Snapchat because when I was on leave, well, let me turn on. When I was on leave, I, um, I was at my homegirl Stacy house in Queens and she had this perfume and it smelled so good. So I put it on Snapchat. I was like, okay, who's trying to send this to my PO box? I don't really think everybody was going to send it to my PO box. But this girl did. So thank you so much to Tonya. This is the Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Fragrance Mist. Let me show you this. And this smells... Oh, God. It smells so freaking good. So thank you, girl. I'm about to be, you know, put that motherfucker right there. Um, Let me take my jacket off. Okay, you guys. So my lashes, my sample lashes came in the mail. These are the styles that I chose to sell on my site, but I'm not too sure because these are really dramatic and these are, I try to go for at least one natural. If you guys know me, you guys know I love dramatic ass lashes. So I got these natural lashes. I got these dramatic lashes. These are dramatic as well. And then I got these that are dramatic as well. So the thing is, I'm going to try these on if I don't like them, if I feel like they're too long. I will be keeping them and ordering another batch of different eyelashes. I'm not going to sell them to something that I don't freaking like. But for right now, I'm about to take a shower. I'm about to take a shower and also about to... Damn, I don't know what I'm going to eat, but I'm about to take a shower. And um, tonight I will be scrubbing this whole barracks clean because if I don't clean, ain't nobody else going to clean. And that's really what it is. Um... But yeah, that's basically it. Um, so basically, I do have. Um, why well, I keep saying I'm um, like I never vlogged before? I do have this room to myself. Um, I believe I checked the loss roster, and we will be getting. I mean, not the loss roster. I checked the gains roster, and we will be getting a new single soldier in. I believe September-ish. Um, she is Caucasian. So yeah, we'll be getting a new roommate in a month. But with that month that I do not have a roommate, you guys are gonna see endless, endless, endless videos. I do my thing when I don't have a roommate. That's literally how I got my 20k, my first 20k on YouTube, is because I have a roommate and I was pushing the videos out. But sometimes when I have a roommate, I get kind of like scared to like record because I know they're listening. Like if they're home, but if they go away, go and leave or something, the bitch, the videos come out. But yeah, I'm about to shower. Um. Yeah, I'm shower. So, has anybody been noticing the growth? I mean, not to like two bone horn or nothing, but like, it's Saturday night. No, no, what am I talking about? It's Friday night. Well, it's Saturday morning, 1.28 a.m. And I am at home. Just took off my lashes. About to take off my makeup. Right now, I'm about to watch this movie. It's called Plug love i just seen the trailer i have not watched the movie yet right now i'm about to watch it i believe it's like two hours and some change and my homeboy told me about it at work and then i just seen the trailer on facebook with the link for the movie so i'm about to watch it but um i just want to tell you guys i hope you guys go out and watch it because the trailer looks really good and i like i'm fiending to see what's gonna happen but the bad part is y'all when i push back my sleep I mess up my sleeping pattern for the rest of the week. So if I sit here and it's right 129, if I sit here and I watch this movie, I'm not going to go to bed till like 3.30, maybe 4. Right now I'm uploading a video. I need to be sidetracking. But if I do that, I'm going to be really fucked up for the week. Like I'm not going to be able to sleep. But with that being said, um, I just uploaded a video. I'm about to lay back, watch Plug Love. Um, You guys that have not really been going out, probably because I ain't got no friends. I got a couple of females, you know, that I, you know, I, I'm cool with this stuff, but not really anybody that I would go out with and shit like that. So, with that being said, I be chilling out, y'all. I don't really be drinking. I don't be on my heavy drinking shit. Like, y'all, y'all should really be proud of me, y'all. Like, 
I feel like I just got my masters. No, I ain't got my masters, bitch. I wish. But I really feel like I've been, you know, pat myself on the back. Like, I'm about to hit 55K already. I don't even know where this 5K came from. But I'm grateful for all of my subbies. And I'm definitely grateful for the fact that my subscribers come in like a, a slow pace. You know what I mean? I don't want nothing. You never want something too easy. If it's too easy, bitch, something is wrong. You know what I mean? I don't want subscribers too quick because then it's going to feel like... Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody thinking I buy them shits or something because I would never fucking buy subscribers. But with that being said, I just uploaded. Well, I'm waiting for this video to upload. I cannot wait, you guys, to get my, um, I'm talking so much because I have so much to tell you. I just don't be vlogging, so it's just like, it's now hitting me to tell you guys. But I can't wait to get my new keyboard in the mail because my keyboard randomly stopped working. Yeah, it randomly stopped working or whatever. Um... And now I can't even get on my big computer. And if I could, I would be editing like beautifully. Like I edit quick. The editing is bomb. Like it's really nice on that big computer. Because all my plugins for Final Cut Pro is on that computer. But on this computer, I have the old version of Final Cut Pro. And I have some plugins, but all the plugins don't work. So I'm going to, initially I was going to just spend the weekend just chilling and shit. But I'm like, I, I can't do that to myself. I have to get up and I have to, um film video so the video that i'm film that i uploaded right now was about that bob you guys seen previously in this vlog that video is sponsored um i think i'm not gonna lie to you guys i think i'm gonna stop doing sponsored videos especially from aliexpress because the people well the one that's come the one i can't talk the vlog nope what jasmine what the um hair video that's uploading today is not from aliexpress but the thing about me is um, I'm not gonna say I'm a low baller, but like, I don't ask for as much money from these companies as I should be asking. You know what I mean? Especially for all the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, just bitch, I'm not asking for them. You know what I mean? And I don't think that's a good thing because when when um sponsors like the hair company people when they pay you through PayPal, PayPal takes a fee. So if, for instance, if they say, hey, um, we can only afford three hundred dollars a video. PayPal is gonna take a fee of that a p what? PayPal is gonna take a fee of that three hundred dollars. The same thing goes for when I sell a wig on Snapchat, and I'll be like, I'm selling this wig for one hundred and fifty dollars. People don't put into the fact that PayPal takes a fee of that money, and I also have to pay myself to ship that. So I'm not I don't really know if I'm just gonna do something other than PayPal, or if I'm just gonna stop completely. But um, if anyone is interested in buying that bob that I had previously in this vlog. Email me at jasmineprofit at yahoo.com. I am selling the wig. I mean, the only reason why I'm selling it, honestly, y'all, and I just, the only reason why I started selling wigs was because I have too much. I have too much for one person, and I know there's somebody out there that wants a damn wig. So that's basically what I'm doing. Um, other than that, these are, these lashes, we're going to talk about um, a little lash line. So the lash line is called Jazzy Lashes, okay? I was going to do... I had a lot of great names in mind, but they all were basically taken up. But these lashes are going to be the lashes that are called Jazzy. I'm going to be naming each um, lash something different. I'm going to be, I want one of the lashes to be called 69. I'm sorry, y'all. I just want to be different. I don't want to be like blink, fluffy. Like, no, bitch. Come on. I need, and the lashes need to reflect my personality. So, bitch, you're going to call them one of the lashes 69, right? Okay? So, one of the lashes is going to be called 69. With the, this one, which is my favorite one, so you guys can see the pattern. Um, I wore it earlier in this vlog, and I also had it on Snapchat. Let me make sure I can focus. This is going to be called Jazzy. So, these are going to be the Jazzy lashes. And then, the natural ones, I, I wanted to call them... I don't know, natural and nice. I don't know. You guys, give me some suggestions down below. And then I have some, like, drama ones I might call drama mama. I don't know. I need something cute. But that's basically that. I got to name those. And I only tried on one eyelash out of four lashes. So I have to try on the other three before Monday so I can buy, um, I can order my, all the lashes so I can start this, the website. But I already got the website up, you guys. Oh, my God. You guys, I already paid for a freaking donate name, everything. Like, damn, I didn't even know a business cost this much. But, um, come on. I'm going to show you guys, but, uh, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm so tired. The website has not even launched yet. 
and I already got 137 viewers. Who is looking at this empty ass website? But this is how my website looks right now. It's not public, so when you guys come on this, you guys won't see this. If you guys type in Jazzy Lashes right now, you guys are going to see, a, um, what's it called? A, um, like a coming soon page. So this is what I want my thing to be. My little cover thingajig. And then, um, these are not my lashes. These are just lashes that I've, um, gr uh, I grabbed it from the internet just so I could see, like, when I put some products how it's gonna look so these two these are not mine i'm not claiming them nothing like that so i just wanted to you know show you guys that but this is gonna stay right here but yeah that's basically it so the projected date for the lash line to go public is august 15th if that doesn't happen then it don't happen but i have to get some boxes made also for the lashes because i'm not finna be sending people no lashes in no motherfucking plastic that's not what I want my name to be. You know what I mean? Associated with. I don't want no bullshit. I need my shit to be noise. But I'm tired, you guys. Uh, I freaking put chicken out yesterday so I could grill it. And then I come to realize that I don't even have pans or pots. Well, I had some. But y'all know what the fuck. Y'all know. Somebody understands what the fuck I'm saying. But, yeah. So, I almost forgot the chicken was in the sink. That shit would have spoiled. Like, you know what I mean? So, I had to put that shit back up. In the, in the um, fridge. Tomorrow I have so many videos to film. I have to film my story time. What happened in the airport. I have to film my. Beauty here. Beauty forever video. My top 10 Netflix and chill. I mean. Uh, I'm tired. I'm, I don't think I'm going to. Oh I forgot my cheeseburger. Hey you guys. Whoa you guys can't see me. Mm -hmm. You guys still can't see me. What the? Stupid ass, son. All right. Who's calling me? Oh. Hello? Hello? Yeah. What's up, crazy? Oh, I was calling you to see if you're okay. Like, if you need the password to my computer or something. No, it's still unlocked. Oh, okay. Don't be looking at no porn. For this one? Huh? Don't, yeah, don't be looking at no porn now. Man, come on. Really? <laughs> All right. Crazy. I'll be back. Go? Yeah, I'll be back in like probably two, three hours. All right. All right, bye. Uh, just hit me up. Okay. I left him in my room. But yeah, you guys, right now, I'm with my bitch. You guys, have you, you guys never met her. It's my bitch in the front. Hey, y'all. I'm looking crazy doing my makeup in the corner. Oh, my God. This bitch. <laughs> but yeah, we about to go to some barbecue. I'm scared as fuck. Like, you don't be scared. Like, for instance, like, if you about to go to a party, like, walking in. I don't be, I be scared because people be looking and yeah, like, like, you don't oh, know where to go. That? Yeah, yeah. You do, and where do you go? Like, especially if you don't know nobody, like, yeah. we're just going to stand. You know what I mean? Like if you've never been to the place before. Yeah, like, exactly. Uh, but when I do go, I like to go in a gang, you feel me? Yeah. Because two people, that's not enough, bitch. Uh-uh. I need like four, five, six. But what you just going to ask me? I thought you Huh? Is that my boyfriend? Yeah. No? Oh. Bitch, I ain't got a boyfriend. I was just asking. No. <laughs> I ain't got, I'm not looking for that. You looking for a boyfriend? Mom looking for him, but he gotta be like, he gotta spoil me the fuck. Yeah. I'm not looking, but I'm looking. Yeah, it's weird, bitch. It's like, Sometimes I don't want one, and then at night I'll be like, yeah, damn, like, I wish damn, I had a man. Like, I'm like, damn, I just wanna cuddle. Facts. And then I call somebody and be like, well, I don't wanna be a hoe, so like, I'm not just gonna call anybody. Yeah, bitch. But. No, I, some days I'll be sad, I'll be like, e e e like, anybody gonna hit me up? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Nobody hits me up, bitch. Shit's sad. It's sad as fuck. But next week, there's a Jamaican party in Nashville. I'm going. I'm going too, bitch. It's Jamaican Independence Day. I missed last year. Last year was an all-white party. That shit was lit. There's a gold party tonight, too, in Nashville. For real? Yeah. Why everything got to be in Nashville, man? Fuck. for that shit. It's an all-white party, though. Nah, I can eat a dick with that all-white shit. But... Hey, I'm liking this bob. I need to find a way to get this damn shit to stay some. down. My like, you see, y'all, it don't stay down. Is this yours? No. Well, it's water, so I need to wet my sponge. Oh, this <laughs> bitch. But yeah, so the lashes I got on right now. Let's see, actually, guys. Wow. These lashes, they're gonna be called 69. So the ones that I had on yesterday and the ones today. 
those two are good to go, baby. Ah, my nose is all oily. You know you the baddest, baby. Oh, the mark. Oh shit. You don't wear foundation? Yeah, I do. But I put my I put my concealer on underneath because it's it's a shade too light. So I put it on underneath and Are you for real? It. Yeah. I learned it from some girl on YouTube and she was like, you know, my foundation is too light. So I was like, hmm, let me try it one time. So I look, I did it just And you liked it? Like, and I like it better than You like time. it the Oh, I never tried that. I'm well, scared. I'm, learning, girl, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> let me see how that shit gonna come out. But I forgot to put primer on my face. Maybe I should damn this lighting is good. This line, I'm looking like a bad little joint. Oh, chow. Mm. So, my friends deploy uh -huh. on August 16th. Uh huh. Which means we really gonna be going out because I don't got nobody to go out with. Bitch, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, I don't got no friends, nigga. I fucking used to have friends, bitch. Now, I be want to go out, but it feel good like that I stopped because I used to get really drunk, girl. Like, yeah. Bad, like fucking headache, throwing up. But, like, I like okay, so you gotta go out with like uh me and my coworkers and stuff go out cause mm -hmm. like who like the dudes and shit or the girls? The dudes. Okay, I don't I know like nobody. Girls. Yeah. That's no, that's fine. Like. I don't know if you can take it. Another one for me, naked, naked, naked. I wanna be a baby baby. Oh, hey, I reset on my computer, right? I don't know. If I don't know if I explained it to you guys in the last walk, but my my um, keyboard was really messed up on my iMac. And I thought it was something wrong with the settings, so I reset the whole computer. I lost Final Cut Pro, I lost all my plugins. Literally, it's like I just bought a brand new computer. Come to find out, the keyboard really don't work. So I have to buy a new keyboard, it's $100, I'm aggravated. I'm not too sure if I told you guys this already, but whatever. Um. So one of my subbies in my last vlog, thank you boo, she told me about something about like an on-screen keyboard. So for the meantime, I can use the keyboard, but it's gonna be on the screen. I go, I wanna edit the video, I forgot I freaking reset the computer so that I don't even have Final Cut Pro. So now I have to sit here and download Final Cut Pro all over in every single plugin. I have over 20 plugins, yo. So I'm a little aggravated about that. Yes, I am, but right now, what time is it? It is, I think like six something. I don't want tomorrow to, um, I don't want Monday to come because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be running a lot for freaking PT and I hate running you guys. Running is the worst for me. Um, but right now I'm about to have some company. Uh -oh. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. You said where I'm at? You just asked me where I'm at? You said I asked you where you was at? Yeah, what you just said? I don't know, I'm trying to get my phone to connect to Bluetooth. Oh, do you remember where my barracks is? Um, yeah, but if I go, what uh, gate should I go in? Do you know how to get the gate? I ain't seen this orange wig in a minute right now i don't know it's like one something in the afternoon i didn't eat yet i've been up filming so right now i'm probably gonna make i gotta wash my dishes i'm probably gonna make these blueberry waffles even though it's afternoon i love me some motherfucking breakfast y'all i've smashed this i smashed this I try to buy some bun on. If you Haitian or Jamaican, you know what this is. Or Hispanic. I try to buy some plantain, aka bun on. But I don't know. It's been frozen for the past month, so I'm probably not going to eat it. Probably just going to buy a new pack and try it. I'm going to try this bacon. Fully cooked bacon. So I'm going to eat this bacon. Some waffles. I got this old ass Jamaican food in the fridge. I got some, uh, What's it called? Oxtail plants. I love oxtail so much. But, all right, that's my fault. I did buy some eggs so I could make breakfast. Oh, I have grapes. You ever like go grocery shopping and you buy shit and then you forget what you bought? I got grapes, baby. Oh, they still good. I'm 
I'll probably eat those later while I film my get ready with me. The sad part is exactly what you guys see right now is exactly what you guys are going to get later. I did this makeup just to film, but I probably will do this makeup again. This wig is all jacked up, so I don't really know if I'm going to wear it. And the uh, wig cap is too small, so it's like giving me a headache right now. But I'm about to make this food. So I literally just got off of work. I am aggravated. I am tired. I have to be up early as shit tomorrow. School starts literally next week, Monday. Next week, Monday, I'm stressing out. So I got some packages today. I got a package from a subby. Then I also got a letter from a subby. So I'm gonna open it with you guys. So. This care package, I was gonna open it on camera at first, but I was in the car and I was too fucking excited. <laughs> um, so I opened it in the car. But this, ew, was that a spider? But this package is from Julie the Cholis, the the Colis, Julie the the Cholis. She's from Lindwood, Illinois. This is what the package looked like, and I'm gonna open it. It has cute tape. Try not to show her um, address. Let me get closer. So, if you are a loyal subby, then you know I love me some Twizzlers. So she got me a king size bag of Twizzlers, another king size bag of Twizzlers. Can't wait. She got me a twirly towel. It's a microfiber hair towel. It dries your hair faster. That's what it looks like. For long, short, wet, or dry hair. So it has a little thing on the back. Shows you how to use it. <laughs> it's my first ever, nope. This is my second care package I've ever received on um, while I've been on YouTube. The other one was like this Hawaiian themed care package, but it didn't have any letter in it to let me know who the person was. Then she got me this cute ass keychain. I believe this is a keychain, right? It's a hand sanitizer and it is strawberries and cream. Antibacterial is what the bag looks like. My boo is bringing me some, oh, it's not open. It's bringing me some food. Cause I got off of work late. Right now it's like seven something. I got off of work late and I left the meeting early, so. If I would have stayed, I probably would have got home and ate something. But um, I'm tired. I missed the defect, so he's gonna bring me some food. Oh, this smells. This smells good. It smells like um, the Bath and Body Works, but it's not the Bath and Body Works kind. Then she got me a Alba Bontanica Hawaiian Shampoo Body Builder Mango for extra volume and balance. Oh my God, I love shampoo. And then she got me the matching conditioners from Marshalls. Oh yeah, girl. And then some bubble wrap. And she got me this cute uh, little book. It says, A Window on Prayer. We'll put this to the side so we can read it together. She got me this perfume, Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. She got me this shirt from Rule 21. It's a size large. Oh, girl, you trying to see how fat? 
It says once in a lifetime. Oh, my arm hurts. This is what it looks like. Has a little bedazzles on it. It's a size large. Then she got me this bath bomb. It's uh, over the rainbow. Smell it. Open it and smell it. Yes, girl. I've never used a bath bomb before. You know, we get a lot of centipedes that come out the sewer in our shower, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and take a bath one day. Then the last thing in here is, I believe this is a, dre a dress. Oh, well, okay, I don't even know how this goes. It's a black dress, it looks like a romper. No, it's a dress, and the back is crisscross. I might wear this for my organics. Ooh, I might wear this for my organics. Oh, it's kind of short. Yeah, so she, that's what she got me. And then the rest of the box is empty. So thank you, boo. We're gonna go and we're gonna read her. Ah! We're gonna read her note. So. This is, this little book is a window on prayer. It's basically like, I think these are like Bible quotes. Well, they're not Bible, well, yes they are. It's basically a book of quotes that I need. And then I'm gonna read this. <coughs> it says, hey Army Barbie, it's Julie. My name on YouTube is, the what? My name on YouTube now is Jewels of the Sea. My old name was Ms. Now 27 when I first started watching you on YouTube. And now my Periscope that I used to watch you on when you came on there. I just wanted to say that you have truly been an inspiration. Even though we've grown up differently and lived different lives now, your videos truly get me through the rough times that I, that I go through on a daily basis. I love your down-to-earth attitude and your realness. We are both twins when it comes to comes to that among some other things. I wish you nothing but success. I've been through so much. I went to college, graduated with my bachelor's degree in biology and had plans to attend optometry school back in 2011. But I got really sick and couldn't attend and now I am disabled. Oh, it is amazing how life can turn into something completely different than planned. But anyway, that is just a quick, quick piece of my life. This is about you, girl, LOL. <laughs> God put it on on my heart to send you a care package because you are truly a part of how I keep my head up and I'm able to go through the day, able to get through each day through my pains, etc. Keep up the great work you do, girl, and never give up. I definitely look forward to your videos. And girl, you rock. Aww. You are the true definition of an army Barbie. Get it, girl. I hope you enjoy the stuff I got you. The hand sanitizer <laughs> holder is me cheering you on. Go, Jazz, go. The other stuff is self-explanatory. Enjoy, girl. See you on your videos. Can't wait. P.S. I told you your care package is coming from Chi Town to you. Aw. Sincerely, your friend in my head, Julie. Love you, girl. Mm -hmm. If you ever need someone to talk to. Okay, then she has her personal information. Uh-uh, ain't no crying, y'all. But thank you, boo. Thank you for the care package. I knew you said it was coming, but... People be telling me that, but I didn't really think it was going to come. But I appreciate every single thing you got me. Hands down, my favorite thing has to be the Twizzlers because I love candy. And this, I didn't even eat yet. I didn't even eat dinner yet. So the Twizzlers are going to be my dinner. And I have, um, <clears throat> tomorrow morning I have a detail in some helicopter thing. So I'm, I'm going to bring the other pack of Twizzlers for tomorrow. So I appreciate that, boo. Thank you. You are the fuck, fucking best girl. Then I have a letter from... Tamor Wheeler, she's from New York, New York. She's from Manhattan. Subby Mail, I wrote a lot. Thank you for being you. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. I just met a Subby walking in the building. I don't know if I told you that, but <clears throat> camera don't die on me. Da -da -da -da. Whoa, girl, you thick ass packet. Okay. Hey girl, my name is Tamor, or Tumor, and I'm writing you this letter for emotional support. Also, I'm practicing 
the meaning. It's okay to not be okay and open up. Aw, I just want to start this letter off by saying you are such an amazing, down-to-earth, and beautiful individual. Wait till I get my ass done. But, um... I would just love to share my story with you, so here goes nothing. I'm a 19-year-old girl. I live in Manhattan. I'm going through a few things. To start off the madness, I have three other siblings who are older than me. Before I was born, my mother was on drugs and didn't raise any of her children. They were all under the care of either family members or foster family. Now that they're older, she's no longer on drugs. She sort of tries to make up for lost time. She received my siblings at, like, the preteen stage. Then, when she turned 34, she gave birth to me. Damn. I don't really remember much things about my relationship with my mom growing up, but I know that being, being a young adult, we do not get along. My mother is very selfish and self-centered and hasn't really been a mother to me. There's been times where I would go hungry and she would go out to eat and have herself a well-prepared four-course meal and I'll be starving. Damn, girl, I know. Believe me, I know. When I ask for food, it will automatically cause conflict. My mother once had a boyfriend who abused her and she has done some inappropriate things in front of me. And when I confronted someone about it, my grandma, my mother denied it and framed me out to be a liar. My siblings always use the statement, mommy only raised you very often, making me feel that they believe I'm privileged because I'm the only child she actually handled from birth when in actuality, I, strong, I strongly dislike my mother for the forms of abuse. I'm employed as of right now and I'm trying to make ends meet for myself just to be able to have food in my stomach and won't be sickly. Most of the time, most of the time, my buys, my buys me material things to cover up for her disgusting parenting. This year has been struggling for me to pass my ASVAB on because I'm so focused on escaping this abuse that I haven't been able to retain the material I need to study. My mother figured out that I failed my first two attempts and verbally abused me with all these slurs and it really put me down. We live in the same household and we don't even talk. A shame, right? I've been going through a lot emotionally and no one really understands. My father, on the other hand, can barely take care of himself, but was always there for me in my life. But man, oh man, if he gets a little bit of money in his hands, he's a different person and a liar. I feel like the army is all, oh, all I have to escape this man is that's so fucking true, girl, believe me, believe me. Um, I'm so stressed out and this is so uncomfortable with my living standards. I share a fucking room with my 27 year old sister who just doesn't know how to keep her hygiene intact and is Oh my God, and has disgusting habits, and I hate it. When I discovered your YouTube channel, oh, I'm so crying. When I discovered your YouTube channel, something really stood out to me, and it's the fact that you were able to be open about your story times and not be ashamed or embarrassed of where you come from and what you are settling for. I've learned so much from your ability to grow. <clears throat> Got a gangster cracking in this bitch. <clears throat> ah, bitch. All right. And your ability to grow that inspired me to believe in myself and not to listen to my mother. Put me down about my failures. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. From these failures, I will be retesting on July. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. On July motherfucking 25th. And I do pass on pa passing that exam at Root Ass for Hamilton. FYI, she's not receiving any pictures or not going to be invited for my graduation for basic or AIT. I've been through so much negativity that I don't want her a part of my positives. Facts. Oh my God. Facts, bitch. Thank you, Jasmine, for being you and making me feel comfortable and believing in myself, saying things in your videos to make me laugh on some really bad days. Aw. Most important, thank you for being open and showing your subbies that we can prosper even from tough and fucked up ass situations. Aw. I love you very much. Oh, I love you too, boo. Her Instagram is at t.aav. Look at my, I look crazy. Uh, at t.aavi underscore. Her Facebook is Tamor B. Wheeler, bitch. But, damn, my car baby ass. <clears throat> but now, you guys, I really try my best not to think about my past. You know what I'm saying? Especially because I'm, you know, somewhere I never thought I would ever be in my life. But, we didn't have let her kind of like, you know, go back to memory. So that's why I started crying. But girl, let me tell you something. It don't matter what the fuck. I'm talking like, it don't matter what the fuck. When I say it don't matter what you're going through. All right? If you want something, you got to put your fucking mind on it. Girl, you have to be mentally just determined. You have to know. Like, like when I was at home, I used to literally sit in my room and watch YouTube army videos 
on I used to watch the same video over and over and over and the same videos, the same people over and over and over and over and over. And I could never find a military vlogger, so that's why I started making videos. But before that, I used to really sit in my head and people used to tell me to my face, like, you're never leaving this house, bitch. Yes, the fuck I am. And I, I always put that shit in my head, like, yo, I'm going to join the army. Like, of course I knew it wasn't gonna be easy, even though I'd be bitching and complaining on Snapchat, but y'all, when you want something, you put your motherfucking mind to it. Especially if you're going through some really tough and like degrading things at home, especially if that, you feel me? A lot of y'all, you know, y'all hit me up, y'all wanna join, but y'all tell me that y'all got a good life. It it really means something to the people that really like come from nothing. And that's when it means the most. So thank you for that letter, boo. I love you so much. That's crazy though. I really be focusing on the hate. I really, really, really be focusing on the hate. But I didn't really know I still inspire y'all, man. I didn't even know y'all still fuck with me, honestly. But I went on eBay and I ordered some wig caps because recently I've been making wigs. I've been sewing wigs. On the dome cap and they must have been twenty dollars, nineteen fifty. Oh, this is my my bank card, my bank bank. But um, yeah, I got some wig caps, extra large. I got five of them. Well, is this five or six? I got five, just so I can make wigs to sell. So I will be sewing some wigs, but I need to get this just in case. Cause just so this is extra large. Let's open it and let's see how big it is. This may be too big. Oh, this is too big. This extra large don't even feel extra large. Oh, this is good. Not too tight. Oh yeah, this is great. Oh yes, this is great. All right, so this is the brand. I'm gonna link the eBay site link thing down below if you guys make wigs or if you guys are looking for an extra large cap. Um, I got some hair from a hair company. This part, this is not sponsored y'all. I'm just showing it because I'm so happy to be vlogging, but this ain't sponsored at all for real. Believe me, the sponsor video is coming up. Cause I need money, okay? But I got some, not on my mama, on my mama, dead ass, dead ass. I would not be showing you guys this hair if I wasn't in love with it. Cause y'all usually don't see hair unboxings in my vlogs anyway, but this hair is from Allie Annabelle on AliExpress. Now look, bitch. This hair is soft, it's shit. So that's the only reason why I'm showing it to you. And I think I got a length that's way too long. If any of you guys are interested in, if any of you guys are interested in purchase, purchasing the wig I'm gonna make, you guys let me know. Cause 28, I used to like 28 growing up when I was ratchet, but now, oh my god, this shit is so soft. Look at this shit, y'all. Bro, y'all can't tell me this motherfucker don't look soft. This shit is. This is 28 inches, y'all. This is I would stand up, but I don't have no panties on. This is long, bro. So I got four bundles. Two. Three. Got four bundles of that. Look at this. Oh my god. Bro. I hope this company is not one of those companies that like send the YouTuber the nice shit and sends the customer some bullshit. I'm gonna have to check in reviews, bitch, cause. I love closures, you guys. Look at this closure, bitch. Better than blood clot, bud, my girl. I just hate parting them myself because I be fucking it up and I be parting it. But this how it looks. It's a free part closure. I like the parts that come either three part or middle part, but. But yeah, this, this is the hair that I received today. I'm not gonna get into too much details. You have to stay tuned for the next video. But I love you guys so much. Just, I'm gonna end my vlog right here because I have to clean up. Oh, they give me a little fake ass beauty blender. Oh, because I have to clean up. So I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next vlog.